We have our oh, we have our Apollo Dog of the Week presented by Georgia, presented by Georgia, presented by Georgia girl. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Holy mackerel, that's a beautiful dog. Welcome back, everybody, to Beyond the Diamond podcast, powered by Big City Wings, Houston's wing joint, Apollo's wing joint. Um, You can be someone at Big City Wings or winner of the People's Choice Golden Fork Award, Uh, Morton Ranch is a new location, specials, sporting events. We go, we were just there this past week, boys, had had a little lunch there. Um, obviously happy hour specials, um, from gridiron special to their 30 bonus weeks on Sunday to $1 chicken tendies on, on Monday, two for Tuesdays, the Why burgers there right now, 10 chicken tendies, 10 burgers, yeah. um, final location nearest you at big city wings.com. This episode is powered by them and your Houston Astros swept a series and then dropped a series that we probably should have taken care of. But yeah. here we are. Um, as you can tell, uh, Brian Olima from 790 is not in studio today. He's feeling down and out with the uh, stomach bug. We got Mr. Noah Outlaw. You can find him at Outlaw Noah or on Twitter, yep. correct? Yep. And Mr. Garrett Harrelson uh, at Garrett Has Fun. I do have fun. Yeah, he has a lot of fun. I'm having fun on right Twitter. now. Mm-hmm. Uh, watch movies, podcasts, Texans... Uh, off the gridiron, all everything above. Thanks for dropping in, boys. All and stuff, thanks. thanks for having thanks what, for having what's me. what's the vibes? What's the vibes today? Uh vibes today are, you know, disappointing. Disappointing or not too disappointing, but after the last two games, after Monday's game. Yeah. It was it's been a t- disappointing uh outcome. Yeah. The past two games. I'd yeah, say. You, you hate to get shut out two games in a row, especially after yeah. putting up twelve runs in, in that first game against Milwaukee there. You, so. know, you know what though? Uh I'm vibing. Because no, yeah, they fucking still went eight and two in last yeah, time. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. You it, know, it you, happened in a, a sad way right now. Yeah. yeah, but if they if those games were sprinkled in in between all those games instead, eight we'd be vibing. Eight and two in your last ten, very good, very good. Yeah. It's, that's eighty percent win percentage in the last ten games. So wow, it is. It's it's big quick math, quick math, wow. quick math, math right there. You saw that? Yeah, but uh, yeah. By going eight and two, you had to take care of business against Oakland at home, and you did. Mm-hmm. Um, wasn't sexy, uh, winning five to one, three to two, two nothing. But wins are wins in this league; they all count the same. Yep. And then Monday night, um, you had an offensive explosion for the first time all season. Really, five home runs in one game. Jordan double ding dong boomba. Uh, Dubon had one. Um, Jolks, Jolks had, had one. one. Hit a few RBIs. And who was the fifth? Who was the fifth? Hmm. fifth? Fifth home run? Well, Dubon? Jordan hit two. Where did you say Dubon? Jolks hit one. Dubon, Dubon hit, hit two. one. Dubon. Jolks. And someone else. Oh, Can't Maldi. Think about it right now. Maldi. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maldi. Yeah. Yeah. Moon, oh, I mean, shot. Launched one. Yeah. Uh, and then it's a running joke, I think, on Astros Twitter, Facebook, as a fan base, that once they score double digit runs, they're not going to score after that. And <laughs> I got mean, shot out six nothing and lost four nothing. It's right a little ridiculous that. hearing it all the time, but I mean, how it's backed up. It's yeah, backed it's up valid. with facts and science yeah. that it happens a lot. Yeah. It's backed up. Yeah. And the thing is, they dropped a, a numerous amounts of home runs on a Cy Young award winner. And then made two guys with the 10 ERA look like Nolan Ryan. So yep. uh, that's just that's the Houston Astros. I feel like that's that's the Houston Astros in, in the dynasty run that it is. It just doesn't matter if it's a 17 team, the 2019 team, or the 2023 team. Like it's just gonna happen. Yep, yeah. it's gonna happen. It's just, you that's know, that's it doesn't history. even matter. It doesn't even matter because yeah. the Astros play up to their competition consistently, and if they have to go against an All Star Cy Young winning pitcher. They're going to put up like three or four on them. Mm-hmm. You know, they will. They'll make them look silly. Yeah. Yeah. I think the biggest, the biggest thing I was frustrated with in this series, um, obviously, you had one, I think, at eight in a row uh, up to Monday before dropping the last two um, and, and losing the series. But Brandon Belak and JP France pitched mm. their tails off, mm. and you cannot. Cannot waste those starts. No, you can't uh, waste quality no. starts from them. Not at all. Yeah. They're they're stepping up and sliding into this role and they're professionals and, and they're and they're they're big leaguers, but when you're back in guys are giving you productive quality starts 
like this, mm-hmm. it, it really, really chaps my ass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. We waste these stars. Chaps, chaps my ass, huh? Chaps my ass. Oh, I like hate the chapped ass. Hey. The chapped ass is no fun. Ever. No, it's not. Um, yeah, and I, I agree though. I mean, it's 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 hard. Um, it, it's it, I don't know, but also, I, I I think that those two starts, like I know that Brandon Bielak got the L yesterday. Yeah. I'm not putting that L on him. Not no. not in a long shot, buddy. That guy no. went out and grinded. No, I, that, I put that L on the offense, obviously. But and he, here's the question. Because I know um, some of y'all have a take on this. Mm. How do we feel about sending Brandon Belak out for the seventh inning? Hate it. Love it. Love it. Um, it was for the seventh inning, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not the eighth. Yeah, uh, I was okay with the decision because where his pitch count was, and I would have gone batter to batter as soon as that first guy. Yeah. Maybe he, it'd be Sia. <clears throat> uh, but. He went six and two thirds, guys. That's that's big time. He only gave up those four runs. You could have easily shut him down after six. You only gave up two up to that point. So, um, especially after the first inning, he settled down and and gave you a quality start. Uh, ate a lot of innings. Um, protected the bullpen. JP France had eight punch outs the, the night before, five yeah. and two thirds. So, uh, either way, you take both those starts. And and so, yeah, uh, I think there's a little frustration on on the internet. About sending them back out, but just a little, uh, just well, a little. Just a little. My thing about it is, is I don't, I don't hate that they did it. I'm, I'm okay with Dusty sending him out there for the seventh, but also I agree. After that first homer that he gave up in that inning, he's, he should have been out of there. And then also, it's not like Belak is like JP France, right? Where we're still trying to figure out exactly what he's got. I feel like we know what Belak has. We've seen Belak for years now. We know what his, what he's about, and we, I think we've seen his ceiling. And other in uh, like unlike guys like JP, right? So my thing about sending Belak out there in the seventh is I like that Dusty was maybe giving him a chance because he's playing well, he's pitching well. It's not like he's been bad. Um, I like th- I like that. But going forward, if you can go if you can go through six innings with Belak only giving up two runs, that's a good day. Let's sit him down. Let's like you know what I mean. Like let him get drink his Gatorade. Let him have the rest of the day off. Like send out some of our bullpen bullpen guys, but. I don't know. I don't like, and I like what you said, Des. I, I, I don't, I don't hate, I don't hate it happening yesterday, but going forward, I think we need to pay attention to that and, and really keep that in mind that be like, this is kind of who he is. I think, I think if you put him out in the seventh, I'm, you don't be shocked if he gives up two, two bombs like that. And it's, at least if you're going to do that, have him on a really short leash and get him out of there, get someone ready for whenever they, you know, he starts giving up, you know, runs like that. So I don't know. I get I, I, I get why people are stoked. okay with it. But I was stoked when he was going out in the seventh. I was watching. I was like, fuck yeah, dude. His pitch count is low right now. Like he could go he could go deep in this game. It's unfortunate what happened, obviously. Yeah. And I don't put it on him because the pressure was on him in, you know, well, in the it, seventh. It was the first time in his career. Yeah. And and you know what? If the offense had put up six runs, seven runs. Exactly. It, we are not talking about this. It, it's fine. exactly well true, so, but different story. Yeah. If if we have he has more wiggle room in that case. If the yeah. offense is putting up runs like that, but they're not. But they weren't. We're we we weren't doing anything, and so we need it. And who knows? And obviously, like we were talking about this earlier. Look, obviously, we know that they didn't end up putting up runs. But let's say we came into the seventh and the eighth and put up two runs, but then be like. Gave up those homers, uh, you know, or if we if he didn't go out there, and we're looking at a tie game, maybe depending on obviously what happens with whoever comes to the mound after Belak. But then you know we we had a fighting chance, and then that just took the wind out of our sails. And everybody, I think you could see the look on everyone's face there at the end of that game. It was just it was just like let's get this over with, let's wrap this up. This is this is fucked. So yeah, I I also think the the other side of it too, if the offense shown some life throughout the game. Uh, obviously, that sixth inning, we stranded a pair, uh, second tough. and third, yeah, the Jordan strikeout. But, um, like, if, if they had shown, like, hey, you know, they were straining runners or, you know, hitting the ball was just one of those games right at everyone. And it, it wasn't that. It was other than other than that sixth inning, really not much. Yeah. Uh, so I had no problem sitting back out because it wasn't like the offense was clicking. Um, but, at the end of the day, that's a that's a damn good start, giving you a chance oh, yeah. to to win a ball game. I, 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 like, and JP France. I said I said it on Twitter, and I, I'm until he proves otherwise. I I think Brandon Belak is for sure 
our Brad Peacock. Oh yeah, he, I mean he's Ethan in that role. Looks like him, huh? Yeah, he's like he's he's just filling like that the filling that role. Like I wouldn't be surprised if he finished the season hundred hundred so innings pitched, like a four ERA, and that's fine. That's you need guys like that. Yeah, throughout throughout one sixty, and I'd rather uh, put him put him through the fire in May. Let him, yeah. you know, get his feet in the fire before it comes to October, and we need him to all of a sudden, you know, something happens, God forbid, and you have to have be like start like a game four or something. And he's being battle tested right now, yeah. which I love, you know. Yeah. But throw him out for the seventh when this pitch counts low. He's been dealing since the first inning. For me, it was a no brainer to put him out in the seventh inning, uh, personally. But I mean, we know how. Like, hey, now we'll just change something up next time. I have no problem doing it again. I'll do it again. I hope, look, maybe like I, I get what you mean, and I, I don't hate the decision. Um, but going forward, and you maybe one more time, depending on the situation. But I'm not trying to. I'm, I don't. I don't want that happening very often. I'm just going to be honest. I don't, yeah, like, I, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, you're going to have a rested bullpen going into the Oakland series. Um, very rested. Day off today, yeah. the 25th, as we're recording. Uh, West Coast starts for us, 8.40 start on uh, Friday the 26th, yeah. day game Saturday, day game Sunday. So only one West Coast night game uh, before Carlos Correa returns back mm. to Minute Maid Park. Back to the eight. Uh, oh, returns home. CC, oh, wait, actually, he's hurt, right? Oh, shit, is he? Oh, he just got hurt. I You're think, right. I just saw I read that this I morning. I think he's yeah. only going to the I.L. Oh, he has yeah. a plantar um, fasciitis. Really? Isn't that what yeah. happened last time, last year? Yeah. 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 Has he played again in Minute Maid at all? Has well, he? I don't yeah. think so. Yeah. Last we year, did, I think we did a video. Did. Yeah. But really? I do think Car- oh, Carlos yeah, is on the shelf his, right now. They had his video. He had his video, but he wasn't he playing. Didn't, he didn't play that game? No, he did. He did. Yeah, I was. Yeah, because I remember he hasn't there. he hasn't played much since um, leaving Houston. Yeah, uh, against Houston. Yeah, I I think going into this Oakland series, it's one. It's take care of business. Yeah, yeah. Um, you you have to have another sweep. Uh, you're chasing three games right now going into June. Uh, with the week left. Uh, winning these three here, I think, is a big, um, not a big test, but a uh, an opportunity to keep holding yes. serve. Good, good word. It's an opportunity yeah. because I don't know. Uh, you said we're down, th- we're three games down in the division. We're chasing three right now. Chasing yeah. three. Okay. So I mean, that's a Rangers sweep, or that's Rangers get swept. We get a sweep. We're we're we're, we're, about, we're up there. We're you know, back. that's yeah. All it takes. I mean, I don't think anybody. Like I, I don't have any doubt the Astros won the division, but I don't think anybody thought like, oh, they're gonna pass them in May and then it's over. Like yeah. it's gonna be a battle going back and forth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, but luckily, the Rangers are finishing oh, yeah. a game with the Blue Jays today, and then they have the Dodgers for three this weekend. So mm-hmm. they're playing the Dodgers for three this weekend. We're playing the A's. So that's that's where you that's can the opportunity. You know. And this then they're weekend, playing Chicago, which, you know, we, so, we swept Chicago, but they've been playing well since. Actually, the the Rangers, I'm looking at it right now, the Rangers play the Orioles this weekend. You're absolutely right. The Angels, and which is still, Ooh, I mean, that's, I'm, that's, get, that's I'm, getting, I'm getting conflicting reports. Bad. <laughs> yeah. which, which one is it, please? That's, like, bad, yeah, that's bad producer sorry. notes. I clicked, I on, just I clicked on Tampa Bay Rays instead of Texas Rangers. <laughs> I clicked on the wrong uh, Yeah, because I was about there. to look at who they were playing. Look, Honest mistake. Honest mistake. A, you know what? Good. The Orioles, though, the Orioles no, could easily. They, the they could are, sweep the Rangers. The I mean, Orioles might be good. better than the Dodgers. I don't know. 100%. I don't know. So it's a golden opportunity to at least launch ourselves within one, you know, you oh, don't know. I mean, it's, it got to take care of business. You're right. Does in Oakland and not take them for granted because yeah. they, they can be frisky, especially on a Friday. Have you seen their Friday night offensive numbers or their Friday day offensive numbers? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, they're Oakland? fucking like, they have like a thousand OPS on yeah, Friday. It's, like, it's insane. They gotta I mean, make took, care took care of them last time. Yeah. They got to make dollar ticket night worth it. Yeah. The, the um, dollar ticket night. the Rangers, so the Rangers have the Orioles and then they have Detroit. But after that, they have the Mariners, Cardinals, and Tampa Bay Rays. They got some. They got a gauntlet. They got up. a tough beginning of June. Yeah. So hey, sh- hey, all that cut all that sissy crap out now, huh? You were playing the Oakland A's a thousand times, and now you're going to be playing real teams. Yeah, yeah. So when when we recorded a couple of weeks ago, I I I think it was the fifteenth, right before the Cubs series. 
I said with the remaining three, six, nine, twelve, that'd be fifteen games. Uh, that they should be around the eleven win mark, and right now they're at the seven win mark with six to go. So yeah, I think you take care of you take care of Oakland. Uh, hopefully, you know you play your baseball, you get a sweep there. Um, you're now at 10 wins with three left. And then that's obviously the twins who also just the sidebar real quick. Uh, Mr. Duran over there mm. throwing 104.1. Na- we do not, we do not weird. want to see him at the end yeah, of the game. <laughs> we do not. So jump on their starters and score runs yeah, because that guy is freaking. That's filthy. That's 104. Yeah. 104. That's and it moved like. Uh-uh. 18 inches it's not even safe um, okay uh, that's a question to want to side note real quick at what point does baseball become too dangerous <laughs> yeah when, when people start like, throwing 150 yeah, miles it's like a wiffle ball yeah, at 104 no. there's gonna be one guy one day that's gonna somehow throw like 109 and then we're gonna be like yo 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 we can't we're not we're not we can't allow this anymore this is getting too much yeah, i was i was actually i was actually uh shout out to highland pines they had me out yesterday golfing but I was on the course and I had this thought and it was the same line of that. I was like, when does baseball like everyone throws a hundred now? Yeah. yeah. Like 10 years ago, it was like Chapman, mm-hmm. right? Like it was yeah. just like, that's why Chapman was so good at the time. And that's why he was traded like four times to like contenders. But yeah. now everyone throws a hundred like guys with 10 ERAs throw a hundred. I mean, who's, yeah. who's the, who's the guy from the Reds? Hunter, Hunter Green. What's his name? Yeah, Hunter, yeah, hundred grand. I mean, he's just he's his consistent velocity for a fastball might be one hundred three and a half yeah. or something like that. Something it's ridiculous, something crazy. He'll yeah. he'll be in the seventh inning pumping hundred pith, hundred pith, and it's like one hundred four. You know? Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. But I mean, in if, ten if, years, in ten years, is it the the standard baseline pitching like one hundred six? Yeah, I think I think we and can like get the freaks there. are at one hundred eight, one hundred nine. I, I think so. I mean, think about like what like what humans are evolve. Humans were evolving. Yeah. Meta humans. I mean. 50 years from now, I think the average fastball might be 111, yeah. you know? You exactly. Get, like, <laughs> probably be amount- higher 50 years from now. <laughs> Million, millions and millions of dollars are going into sports science and figuring out how to just get the most out of athletes' bodies. They're going to figure out, hey, this with this method here, this workout, this whatever, the, the stretch. Yeah, you, I, was, I mean, I was say, it's be some, down some the kid yeah. that's dad has been training them since they were seven to stretch their elbow in a certain way that like keeps it healthy yeah. and like just crazy where it can yep. just it's, fling yeah. 111. It, it's also just like human discovery. Like, you know, like when we discovered quinoa, it was a game changer. Like yeah, sweet yeah, green, yeah. like when they yeah. fucking like find the next like weird superfood, they're like, Joe, yeah. swear to God, trust me, just eat this every yeah, day yeah. in your you salad. Just quinoa? <laughs> yeah, like, or yeah. something. I don't kombucha. know. It, I mean, yeah. when people, like I, I discovered kombucha like, Maybe a year and a half ago. Did you, you know? invented kombucha? It, 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 like it's awesome. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, I'm 50 years from now, when they find new superfoods and different vitamins and stuff, like we're gonna be, everyone's gonna be so healthy. I, yeah. I medical, did see, like, dude, technology is like, like medical science is gonna be insane. I did see an article that was like, if you're under the age of 50, you could live to 140. Yep. That is true. I saw the TikTok and dude, the girl I, like screams in the pillow. <laughs> I think I think the average human lifespan is going to reach 200, 200 at some point. Oh, Speaking on this, let's get into our sweet green. Yes, yeah, I, was, I was going with with sweet green. Yeah, green yeah. health, health report. report. We call it segue, boys. Yeah, yep. I was I was trying. I was getting there. Yep. <laughs> I was getting there. Uh, producer much. Josh, you have the the graphic. You want to run through it real quick? Yeah. So we. Uh, our current health report is actually getting shorter and shorter by the week. It's good stuff love to hear. Good news. Yeah. Good stuff. We love that. We people. have, it's obviously we have, um, you know, Luis Garcia on there. He's going to be on there till next year. Yeah. Tommy John, uh, Arkady nice. is still listed as mid, mid July for his right shoulder inflammation. Okay. Uh, Lance, uh, we talked about this last week. Uh, it's said to be mi- about July all-star break time. Um, no update on Michael Brantley. Man. Right shoulder surgery is still TBD. They're waiting on that inflammation to go down. Yeah. Um, no update. Uh, Chandler Rome has been very snarky about it on Twitter about there being no update. <laughs> oh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, and then the most recent news since last week is Parker Mashinsky coming off the IL. That came out of nowhere. He had a right, uh, he had like a right lumbar strain or something like that, yeah. something weird. <laughs> Maybe. And then just all of a sudden he's back. There's like no news, and then he's back. 
Matt Gage option. It's kind of like, yeah, that's the memory. full list. It kind of unlocked a memory in my head seeing his name. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, everybody Parker. forgot about him completely. I remembered because he was like, you've been a stan of him for a while, Josh. Well, just because like he was one of our, what, two lefty relievers we had all of last year. And he did pretty good in his time when he was, uh, when he came, was, I think it was September call up. He, God, he did decent. Remember, I, mean, I don't even remember. He went like seven and seven, two thirds innings, eight Ks and two earned runs. You must be, you when? must be a Parker guy then. You remember that shit? Yeah, yeah. That. was that Last September? Year? Yeah, but yeah. I mean, that's he's a reliever, so that's over. Right, it wasn't uh, a start, but still, he went. Try to get in contact third. with him. Tell him all that. Yeah, I'd be like, wow. how can be buddies? Dude, <laughs> yeah, shout, out shout out Parker. Shout out Parker. It's yeah. it's great to it's part hearing that Come list. It's so good he, not hearing Altuve's name on oh, it. Yeah. back, man. I mean, he he got well, bubble guts. A little yeah, bit. A little. We oh. had bubble guts. We had a little bubble guts action. Hey, man, he didn't play yesterday. You know what? He was on the road. He couldn't find a sweet green. Yeah, he, he had to he had to deal with what he had to deal with. He couldn't get yeah. his king wall. <laughs> yeah, he had to eat like yeah, super brats food. and like pretzel cheese and shit like that. Who amongst us haven't had bubble guts? You know, like <laughs> no, it dude. happens. We're hey, humans. The, the you know We're, the co-host. Yeah, you the, you watching and listening right now. Yeah, you you've had bubble guts. It's fine. Don't, yeah, two yeah, hey, fine. grow up. Be, hey, chillax. <laughs> hey, We're all adults up. here. Hey, full time host of the program, Brian Lima. I'm gonna, is currently yeah, currently he's yeah, got the currently. Happens. I don't know if I could ever be a professional athlete. I'm not gonna lie, because I would be you leading be the game, and the, I'd be a lot. I'd be like, I have to go shit. You're like <laughs> Garrett's like Garrett on the IL for IBS. Garrett's supposed to be at the bat. He's getting seasoned. Consecutive pitch clock violations. <laughs> if I eat like bro, if I eat tomato sauce, you don't have to put me on the sixth day. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, let let the pitch clock run. Let like four, let three walks go by. Yeah, <laughs> don't let it go. It just I'll come back in. Yeah, yeah I, I'll come back in. We'll be good. God, I can't wait. So, is there anyone else on the list? That's it. That's everybody. That's nope. that's 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 a list. short list. That list is getting smaller. Yeah, everybody, everybody, knock on wood right now. Okay. Everybody, yeah. knock on wood. We're hopefully, yeah. hopefully soon we'll get an update on uh, Michael Brantley because yeah. hopefully. we are. I think we are missing his bat at times. Very, very. I think, sorely. yeah, I think in general the Astros. One thing that I'm so excited for uh, Drew Gilbert is having a, another lefty bat at the bottom. Mm. Because once you get to that bottom of the order, if you have a guy of a reliever that's tough on righties, you're fucking you're screwed. There's I'm ready no... to call him up now. I'm I would give him my I would give him my dog of the week right now if I could. Drew Gilbert. I don't know yeah. if that's all fucking allowed. I don't either. I, don't either. I, I either. would. The three he said he's, like three forty six. It's, pup, it's puppy of the week. The the pay the, the, the pup, pup of the week. The pup cub of the week. <laughs> pup of the, week. Pup, <laughs> the cub of the week is is Drew I, Gilbert for being an animal. He may be up. I don't know. He, he, I think he, he might, might force be. himself into a conversation. I, I mean, think he could. I think he's going to be a September call up if he's hitting like those. I hope it's before September. It's it can't be. He's going. <laughs> oh, I think they're going to wait to start the clock and all that. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're going to try to start his rookie of the year thing for next year. So yeah. it'll be a September yeah, call up because he yeah. probably will win rookie of the year. That's probably my favorite to win next year. I would give him dog of the week, but I have other people. Yeah. We got a lot I of have love. other guys. Let's so get love. into our – before we get into that, before we get into that, we have to get into our Apollo Prize Picks Pick of the Weekend. Mm. Mm. All right, all right. I got one. Yeah, re- got recap of last week, we went with BLAC strikeouts, French strikeouts, and Framber fantasy points, and we hit on all three. I think we, we did, yeah. for the weekend. Yeah. Um, that was Oakland, so I think uh, we can. And we got I'm gonna again. go. I'm gonna go. Who's throwing? Punter's throwing Friday nights. Yeah, and that means Framber Saturday. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Hunter Brown fantasy points. Mm, okay, fantasy points. Okay. okay. So I'm, I'm gonna stick with yours a little bit, but I'm gonna go Hunter Brown strikeouts. I'm gonna go more. Mm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a risk because I don't. I don't know the lineup. For tomorrow no one does mm. but i'm gonna assume that alex bregman will be in that start mm. in that lineup okay and i'm taking alex bregman total bases tomorrow against james caprillion i like i that. saw i saw an article earlier saying where has alex bregman gone i'm like he's still here watch fucking watch I that tomorrow article. i think yeah. he's gonna i think he's gonna go off tomorrow like three for five i i'm going total bases more wow all right, so y'all left the like that. y'all left the uh, 
the slam dunk to me. Thanks for the alley oop. Uh, I'll take Framber Valdez fantasy score. You're welcome. Over. You're welcome on Saturday because uh, I'll take another complete game shutout, please. Mm. You're very welcome. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome for that. We, <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, we were kind of leaving that for you. We kind of figured you needed it. Yeah, I feel like I feel like <laughs> yeah, I, you, I know, you, need it. Cool. you know what? <laughs> you know, I feel like y'all's were low hanging fruit, but yeah, yeah it's cool. I mean, I, if you're not in our Discord uh, for our prize pick conversation, Josh is. We, we're calling him the cooler right now. God, um, <laughs> and we're just going the opposite of what he's been doing. So, yeah. I, so I may take less. Fantasy points. Sorry, Framber. Yeah, Framber, Framber's <laughs> given up 11 runs on Saturday. Briggs, more. That's all I got to say. Watch. Just watch. Yeah, I think I think we're at a good, clean consensus of, of the more uh, with yeah. the pitchers, especially. And then Garrett going on a ledge, going with the Breggy more. I, I like that as well, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I think this offense and, and and this team is so much better when they start seeing guys multiple times through, and they just saw this mm. Oakland team not even a week ago. Yeah. So um, I expect some fireworks for sure, and hopefully Jose Altuve is in that lineup to to anchor it a bit more. Hopefully the tummy's feeling better. You know, yeah. I've, I've been there, so who knows? We'll see. <laughs> you know, it, sometimes it's the long it's the long haul for him. <laughs> the long one. Well, he's yeah. got a day off. Yeah. He got he's got a few days off. In a he's row. fine. Yeah, he's yeah, fine. A few he'll days be, off. You know, he'll be he'll, 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 Last seg, last segment, right? Uh, we're gonna go. Wait, real quick. Uh, you uh, download the Price Picks app, app, Price Picks app, and use code Apollo. Code Apollo. Yeah, they will they match, will match up to a hundred dollars. Uh oh. Oh. Wow, is that... That, was time. that was good. That time. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all that was a good hear... Dude, I should do sound that effects for good... movies. That was awesome. George is now barking outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's you should go get that. Georgia for Dog of the Week. That, that's, <laughs> a, that's a good bit. <laughs> we have our... Oh. We have our Apollo Dog of the Week presented by Georgia. Presented by Georgia. Presented by Georgia girl. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Holy oh, mackerel, that's a beautiful dog. I like this. Uh, dog of the week. Dog of the week. Georgia girl. We'll go. Dog of the week. Oh, man. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, let me get mine. Jordan Alvarez. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jordan Alvarez for all the boom bus. Yeah. yeah and he's was, I mean, he's gone off on Monday. Wow. That Grand Slam, I was Ow. at the gym and I heard I was He's listening over it. to Sports Talk 790. And uh, they hit a Grand Slam when I was doing a squat. I almost dropped dropped the whole thing on my body <laughs> when he did it. So <laughs> thanks, you were on <laughs> for be, almost killing me. Yeah. Um, my dog of the week, I'm going to give it to Framber. You, you know, you, you, you complete game. You got to hold. You got to shut up. Uh, I got to hold this. Word. Sorry. I, you know, I, I'm not on here very often, but. Um, Framber, you know, just a big dog. And also, I mean, on Beyond the Diamond, I'm pretty sure y'all predicted that he was going to have a no-hitter or something like that. Oh. Very close. Very yeah, close. Did. Yeah. Very close. You know, Good stuff. Next Good best thing. I mean, you know you know what I mean? So, you know, shout out. Complete game. Love to see it. Shout out, Framber. I love you so much. I, I mean, complete, I think he's winning. I mean, complete game shout outs are just so valuable. Mm-hmm. It rests your bullpen. Like, that was just a huge, was that was a huge performance. Yeah. I saw a good, good one. I'm given so I don't have one dog. I have two dogs. The, the, wow, you got the, a pack. the hounds of hell. Oh, I'm giving them both. And although we didn't win these games, I just have to give it to them. JP France, Brandon Delac for yeah. going into Milwaukee to play a good team up until this point as the guys that are thrown into the fire because of injuries. And they put up they, two hellacious starts, great starts. I mean, they didn't win them because our offense failed them. But, hey, those two guys, if we would have won those games, we'd, we'd be giving them the flowers right now. So those are 100%. two gritty starts, especially for JP, who came off kind of a bad game last week. Yeah, yeah he, he could have really let that yeah, crumble yeah. his career. And but he, he uh, came back and – He didn't let it rattle him. And, you know, Tad dramatic. And he – He's oh, how many H, a punchies eight, yeah, like eight K's, dude. Five great K's, great yeah. game, great yeah. games from both of them. So, those are my hellhounds of the week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's yours? <laughs> um, I'm also giving the dog of the week to Brandon Belak mm. for the best wow. start of his career. Yeah, 
you know, you can't you can't overlook that. I mean, a, a pretty good Milwaukee Brewers team. He kept his team in the game and with the pressure too. With you know, it's not like he had a five run lead the whole time. He he was that was a close game. He was trying to keep his team in it and giving up two runs in the first two batters. He could have really let that rattle him and fall apart. And I was really worried he would. And he just he went out and retired the next nine guys with like four. I, I would say. I would say his last start, though, which does qualify for Dog of the Week, yeah. was his Oakland one where he had nine strikeouts. Nine strikeouts, exactly. Yeah. He had two Five good eight. starts. Two good row. starts in a row. Is Brandon um, Belak or Dog of the Week? Hold on, hold on. Hey. I forgot about this. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Uh-oh, breaking. This was at 3.46 p.m. on Sunday. Brian Lalima goes, Dog of the Week is decided, and it's not even Monday. So he's, his vote is for Framber. Okay. Mm. So we have two for Belak and two for Framber right now. You know what? Do we? And do guys, we gonna we gonna we, we gonna take the alley oop and go for Framber? Or buddy, but go? here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I respect what Belak and, and JP France did. I get why y'all are giving him dog of the week. Framber pitched a complete game shutout. And I get he's Framber. It's kind of we it's we expect these things from him. He's the a big dog. He's a Cy Young contender. Like he's the man. But he still did what he did. You're right. That's and, and difficult. In a, in a and two oh game. like just gave up four okay. runs and two runs in, in the seventh, which no I get it. swaying me. But but it's still what Framber did is is untouchable. So do we do this? Brandon be like honorable mention? Yes. Yes. Very honorable. Yes. Very honorable. And JP. Very, JP can get one. This too. is the f- yeah, this could be our first very honorable mention dog of the week. Yeah, pup of yeah. the pup of the week. Pup of the week. Pup, pup, pup of the week. week. We're gonna we were joking that we're gonna drew, but you know you got to be in the majors to get awards like that. Come on, but uh, so, we'll, so we'll go officially. Brandon Belak and JP France honorable mention. Honorable, honorable mentions mention. of the week. Yep. For we don't have, we don't have a trophy for you, but you we know don't. You, we don't we don't we only have on one. Yeah. We will, yes. So, we'll actually get a plaque. We'll get a plaque done for honorable mention. Yes. Uh, one yes. of those little blue ribbons you get, you know, like mm. I pa- I passed the third grade. Yeah. It's well, it's <laughs> not a participation. It's not a participation oh, ribbon. Yeah. It's like yeah. oh shit, really good job. It's almost like a silver medal, really. Yes. Think about that. Yeah. You know? uh, so we'll get that done. So that means our so, dog of the week is <laughs> Framber Valley. <laughs> Come on, get it. Here you go. Here. Amber Valdez, the first oh, he's annual. Off, he's, off, he's off camera. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Also, well, I'll give it to you later. <laughs> also, later let's not forget week. that he was out at the bar the night before. <laughs> oh, well, how could we forget Biden. that? Yeah. Allegedly. So, you, allegedly. So, allegedly, yeah. Don't let someone, pictures someone on a tricky yeah, of, pictures of, of him at a bar with, with him, you know, and people taking pictures of him, allegedly. 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 I mean, look. He was he was just watching the fight. He was yeah, just hanging he was out. Watching the human. fight. Probably had he was not watching the fight. He had a virgin mojito. Yeah. He's, he's, uh, yeah. I bet you had a few brews. <laughs> I bet you I bet you had a few beers and Allegedly. it didn't matter. We he's know that Robert dog and a dog. He goes out the night before and then comes and spins his complete game shutout. That's he just, he's got the dog in him. Yeah, man. that's dog that's our dog of the week. Rammer Valdez. Dog of the week. It's we'll get him a big city wings coupon. We'll get him a uh, Brian's reloadable um, Starbucks card. We will get him a T-shirt, and we will get him uh, one prank call into Brian's show every morning. So, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Framber Valdez, you can prank call him at any point. Totally yeah, there free. you go. Congratulations, man! That's an awesome Come opportunity. On the podcast. That's an awesome privilege. <laughs> uh, dog of the week, All Framber right. Valdez. I mean, boys, I mean, let's let's just end it with this. Uh, predictions going into the Oakland series, and might as well as just tease Minnesota as well. What do you What do you guys see? I'll go. Okay, I'll go. Um, I think we'll drop one to Oakland. It's going to be one of those meltdown games that you know people or the Twitter meltdown game. Like we'll lose two to one or something, but we take two to one in Oakland, and then I'm expecting a sweep against Minnesota. Really, I'm expecting like. I'm expecting for us to come home and just sweep and maybe start off. Is that June? Is it June starting next week? Yeah. Pre June, pre June success, and then June is going to be insane. It's going to be AL Central Division leader Minnesota Twins. We're going to sweep them. 
Yep. All right. Um, I say we sweep the A's. Um, I mean, I, I don't, you know, I don't think it's going to be very difficult. But I, I, I get what you mean about it. it could be just one of those games. But I think I think we get out of that um, with a sweep. And then I think I think the Twins we're probably I think we drop one. I think we stay hot though. I think we. Other than these last two games, I think we keep winning, racking them up. And I think the Rangers have a tough weekend. I think we could be winning, you know, the division pretty soon. By Monday, we could be in first place. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we can come out of this series on top of the West. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's right there for the taking. Um, I don't like predicting sweeps, but I will predict a sweep. I think this team is just way better than the Oakland A's, who are historically probably going to be the worst team in Major League Baseball history. Yeah. So and in 41. Can't lose, that, can't lose that team. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, can't. you can't lose that team. Yeah, the, the Houston Astros <laughs> cannot lose to the Oakland A's right now. This is just not something we're allowed to do. Might just sweep them the whole season. Might just be yeah. – or might be a whole season sweep against yeah. the Oakland A's. Yeah, ten, ten, I don't think it's ever happened. Ten wins. Especially with the, new, with, the new, with the new rules this season. Everyone play everyone. You don't play your division as much. Yeah. Uh, you, when you do play the teams that are bad, you have definitely to definitely do it. But uh, what about you, Josh? What are you predicting? Uh, predicting a sweep against Oakland, and then two out of three against the Twins. We have our we have our consensus of the series. Um, while the Astros play in Oakland. Go to Big City Wings. This episode is powered by Big City Wings. Mm-hmm. Uh, Houston's wing joint, Apollo's wings joint. Winner of the People's Choice Golden Fork Award. The new Morton Ranch location is now open. Uh, 13 locations throughout the city. Uh, look, if you're going to go this weekend, you're going to have a gridiron special on Saturday. Uh, your Sunday, you're going to have a 30 boneless swing special for only 19 bucks. $5 Bloody Ooh. Mary's, um, $5 local pints, $3 mimosas until 3 Um, Yeah, so no, if you're going to be out no, watching no, the shows no. this weekend, it's yeah. what Labor Day weekend, Memorial weekend. It is Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend. Oh yeah. shit, I didn't know that. Everyone's yep. going to be out and about summertime. I think Memorial Day weekend officially starts summer, right? Yep. Yeah. Kind of. Oh. I feel like it, it's like kick, it kicks it off a little. Like, kicks, hey, let's party a little, off. huh? Let's yeah, hey, let's out, get this people be started. outside. They have patios, so go over to uh, Big City Wings. You can find the location nearest you at bigcitywings.com. You can follow them on socials on Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram at Big City Wings. Uh, so thank you uh, to Big City Wings. Great episode, boys. Thanks for filling in. Uh, Thanks, we should have Lima back next week. Um, actually, I may be out next week, so it may be all again. Uh, hey, be filling in be for you. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, Y'all so, better like it. Y'all better uh, enjoy it. That's why I live here. <laughs> we are going to get this out and hopefully the Astros sweep and other than that Josh you want to take us out thank you for watching and listening to the Beyond the Diamond podcast we have Dez, Noah, Garrett and Josh on this week's episode we will see you next week hopefully with some Astros W's in the books Mm -hmm. W see y'all later like subscribe resubscribe hit the hit the like button smash it love you guys watch baseball Peace. Peace, peace peace